Hello everyone and welcome to episode 24 of the Pro Wrestling Noah TW2020 series here on the channel as it is our anniversary tour, the uh, second edition of this anniversary tour at least for the series and uh, th you know this should be a really really good card you know I think we're at this point now definitely you know two years in and we seem to keep on getting better and better that uh, you know we, we really can't have a bad like final show and I think that's going to prove uh, evident here even though the main event might not blow everyone away with uh ghc heavyweight title match of takashi tsujiura returning takashi tsujiura take it on goshi Ozaki in the main event which obviously those two whenever they have matches in real life it's awesome but for this mod it's okay uh you know we'll see how it does uh, here though uh, it goes gotten a little better but really other than that um definitely that co-main's gonna save it though if it's not good that being strong big japan and kings of wrestling those two teams can't have a bad match against each other whatsoever. Uh, you know, as far as our tour goals here, we didn't really have any. As far as uh, we added two, and now it's just Okada's new stable being Money and Mayhem. I, with the name, you know, I was just kind of thinking about a name, and it, it was just, like, nothing was really clicking. I was thinking of, like, Agents of Chaos, but then I was like, I don't want to even associate it with Chaos, even though it's used with the Chaos guys. So I just went with Money and Mayhem of... You know, Kata, Ishii, and Goto. So far, that's the stable. And Oh, and Kaisuke Ishii. That's right. Kaisuke uh, Ishii being involved because Hiroki Goto and him have pretty good chemistry. So I figured, you know, he's a junior guy and he's not really doing a whole lot. So he might have been gifted with a great opportunity there. We'll see. And uh, Laughter 7 has added Raisuke Taguchi full-time uh, to be the ass of uh, Laughter 7. Just, uh, you know, I feel like it's a funny addition, too. And... They work well together, you know, Kushida and Taguchi, but just having, like, some killers in there, like Shibata and Sakuraba, then you throw Raisuke Taguchi in there. I just, it, it's a funny acquisition. It breaks the mold of what they are, being, you know, kind of legit shooter guys. But also, Taguchi can hold his own, obviously, and I think they should do pretty well for themselves. As uh, for the card here, we kind of went over the main and co-main already, but the GAC Emerald Overweight title match of Takeshi Morishima and Naimichi Fuji. so... At, at first, you know, as far as preparing for this episode, this was blank as far as who I wanted to have Niamichi Marufuji playing, or face, uh, just because I was just like, well, you know, he's kind of... Right now, the GCM World Open Way title is on a good run. I don't want to diminish that. I just felt like him and, Mar and Marufuji had just watched um, their match uh, from 2007, uh, just the other day, and uh, it's just crazy because Morishima and Marufuji, they, they've had three matches against each other, but you know, they were all three different stages of their career. Like 2001, pretty much they're earlier on in their career. And then 2007, which is basically both their primes. Or at least, you know, both, the, you know, especially more Shimas, but more Fuji getting into his prime, I would say. I mean, his prime's been like fucking 15 years at this point. And then 2014, which was kind of towards the end of more Shima's run. So, really, they only had like one great encounter. And they've had matches before uh, with this save, and it's done pretty well. I just feel like it's a fun match to a GHC Emerald Openweight title. Because you imagine Morishima being the Emerald Openweight champion. He would mow down some fucking people. But let's see if he can beat Marufuji, though. Because obviously, Marufuji's a uh, very tall task to take down. As the GHC Junior Tag Team title matchup of King Devin and Zack Sabre Jr. against Red Dragon. As uh, we get... Our uh, Junior Tag League final list of uh, King Devin and Zack Sabre Jr. against Red, uh, Red Dragon. Should be a really good match. You know, two teams that do pretty well. Um, so we'll, we'll see how they they do. As uh, Suzuki, Goon, and Brave in a six-man. Uh, you know, obviously, the main event being Brave versus Suzuki, Goon just made sense to have an undercard match. Where it was a multi-man match as well. Kenta, Takeyama, and Kakanuma against Kenta Kobashi, Jun Akiyama, and Daiji Shimori. Should be a really good match there. Uh, with Kenta involved, and Ishimori being involved as well. Should be pretty good. As uh, Ishikawa and Hanma against Laughter 7 of Shibata and Sakuraba. Should be a really good match. Fun little heavyweight tag match. And Diamond Ring and Money and Mayhem making their debuts. Uh, as far as the, on the big show. That they'll probably be you know, facing off against Diamond Ring a good bit during the tour. In some capacity. As, uh, yeah, Money and Mayhem. Should uh, have a, you know, they have a big opportunity, but obviously Diamond Ring, no slouches there. It's going to be Miyahara, Nakajima, and Keno involved in Diamond Ring, so that should be you know, a really good match there. Then a number one contenders match for the GHC Junior Tag Team titles. It's going to be a 
2 v2 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 match as it's a first fall finish over gets the first pinfall wins it as it's Sushioki and Katoru Suzuki of Brave Yoshida and Raisuke Taguchi of Laughter 7 Live Strong Die Hard of Eddie Edwards and Roger Strong and then Suzuki Goon of uh, Tai Chi and uh, Yoshinibu Kanemaru which should be a really good match Tai Chi still hurt right now but he'll be back in time for that show as yeah you know just you know, obviously this is mostly on a Thursday, as uh, you'll probably see this on Friday. Thursday was not a great day. Not a great day at all, and I uh, was not in any really condition to record, but, you know, I gotta move forward, and uh, you had some tough news yesterday, and uh, trying to stay positive about it. It is, it is very tough, but, uh, you know, just gotta move on and, and hope for the best as far as it's out of my hands type of thing. So I gotta keep going. Uh, but yeah, for this anniversary tour, it is eight days, I believe. I always forget these fucking tour dates. It's seven. Close enough. As um, seven days, we really, you know, we don't, we don't have to really build a whole lot. But obviously, you know, we have a lot of, like, easy type of matches to set up. You know, like Money Mayhem and Diamond Ring. Any type of affiliation there. Either an eight-man or a six-man with uh, Kaisuke Ishii getting involved. You know, stuff like that. So yeah, we'll just kind of see how it goes as far as this first show. Because I don't really have a whole lot of plans on what I want to do for this first night. I'm just going to play it by ear, mainly. Really, the big thing is probably have Suzuki Goon Brave in some type of 10-man, maybe. as to have the. F I think that'd be fun. You know, I, I, we'll, we'll kind of see how it goes here. As I will have Kenta, Dakiyama, and Kakanuma. Uh, we, we should probably have Sujiora, actually, as as this spot. Yeah, and then we... There we go. That's a little easier, I would say. Then Kakanuma, and... Uh, we could either use Tai Chi or Yoshiniba Kenamara. We're gonna go with Kenamara, though. And uh, for Brave, Go, Kobashi, Junakiyama, uh, Taiji Shimori, and then we could use either Kator Suzuki or Atsushioki. We're probably gonna go with Kator Suzuki, though. If we can. There we go. I was about to say, he's not hurt. <laughs> oh, but he does have broken fingers. Wow. As, uh, I guess we could change that. If we can. If I'm fucking... What? There we go. I was about to say, <laughs> what in the world's going on? I wasn't hitting the actual gimmick I needed to. Should be a pretty good match. Uh, hopefully, again, nobody gets hurt, because there's a lot of talented fucking guys in this match. As far as who's going to take this fall, I'm going to go with, uh, probably Aoki getting the win for Brave against Kakanuma. Seems like that makes the most sense there. Well, oh. uh, that way can be the road agent, I guess. All right. So, with, um... Strong Big Japan, the Kings of Wrestling. I don't think we need to add that for this night, but probably for the second night, that could be a main event. Strong Big Japan with uh, Sasuke against Kings of Wrestling and maybe Zack or even uh, King Devitt. Either way, makes sense. Uh, but for this night's uh, co-main, I do think a six-man of... Uh, it's going to be kind of the same thing, uh, but it's going to be Ishikawa and Hanma. So kind of the same formula of having like Strong Big Japan with... Uh, great Sasuke, but it's going to be Shuchi Shikawa and Hanma, and then Great Sasuke against uh, Laughter 7 with Kushida. Which, again, this match is probably even too good for the co main. But we're going to have um, Kushida beat uh, Great Sasuke here. There we go. So for now, we could kind of do with some undercard stuff if we can. As a, yeah, let's do Yuji Hino and Walter. Let's see what guy. Uh, you know, we could do either Koei Sato and Masato Tanaka. It's not a terrible idea. I'll say because we did this uh, day three and it got 57. We'll do the same thing here. Uh, we'll have Yuji Hino beat uh, 
Going south, though, I guess. Not the best of nights for the strong pillars of violence, but just not their night. <laughs> They'll bounce back. Um, as far as what else we could do, uh, maybe something as far as an undercard singles match of uh, having Kochi Wamato and uh, either Katoge, probably Katoge, getting a win. I about to say, we've done this before back in February. I got a 29 the last time we did this. Probably won't do so well this time as well either. But just an opener. And uh, for the next two matches, let's uh, let's do Harada and O'Hara. Now that Harada's back, they can uh, lose to Live Strong, Die Hard. I about to say, we just did this at the great, uh, or at the... Uh, yeah, I guess the last time we did this was December 2012, which got a 61. That was a pre-show of the uh, Great Voyage in Tokyo. So it'd be a, not as good as this one because it's going to be on a tour show and whatnot. But still should be a, an okay show as we'll have Eddie beat O'Hara here. I guess we'll have this set for seal the show because we really don't have a lot of options. And then for probably another tag... I think would be a good idea. We don't really have a lot of uh, options here. Maybe a singles of um, either. Uh, yeah, we could do a, a junior singles of Tanasaki and uh, and Pac. I don't know. We'll have them. Uh, nah, we probably shouldn't. We will use Pac though, just because you know Pac. He's only gonna be around for so much. We'll do him and Ogawa. Probably should do him and Yoshito and have Yoshito win, but I don't think he'll go for it because uh, creative control. But we'll try it, see if he'll lose to Ogawa. Hate to do this to you, Pac, but as much as I love him, you know he's just gotten a lot of spotlight on the on the uh, channel so far. So it'd be nice to kind of change it up and have somebody else be the focus. We could, you know, wait to bring him in maybe later on. Let Dragon Gate use him, and he can be the man over there for a while. We'll keep it there, and, uh... I'm not really sure where I want this first show to be at. Because I don't think I want it to be in Kanto. But at the same time, I don't think I have a lot of options. Oh, no. We got, we got some. Uh, let's see. The Harada... Mystical Gym. It's probably our best bet. Oh, I mean, we could just go with the big rows, actually. So we can go right at 1,800. Ah, yeah, 39. Or 38, rather. Did a little bit better this time around, but still not great. It's Kadoge with a maximum 1047. Broken toe for Hajime O'Hara. Can you say that this man is cursed? He can't stay fucking healthy to save his life. Good match, too, for Daisuke and O'Hara, but... Just, um... Not enough there. As Roger Strong and Eddie Edwards outperform Daisuke Arata. As Eddie with the sick kick. Or Roddy with the sick kick into the Die Hard driver of Eddie Edwards. Uh, to get the win at 18.30. Nice win for uh, Live Strong Die Hard. Not 59. Pac doing his thing. Doing his very best to have a good match with Yoshinori Agawa. Just completely gets outperformed. It's embarrassing that I even put that match together. The 58 for the Muscle Bombers against Koi Sato and Masato Tanaka. As, again, Masato Tanaka is just the worst. I don't know what it is. His, his momentum isn't great, I will say that. But just all in all, not doing well for that man at all. Uh, really just holding back mo momentum. Yeah, just a whole lot of things are just not going his way for uh, Masato Tanaka. The 77. I figured this would be good. I didn't think it would be that good. Really uh, uh, underestimating... Really, everybody in this match, but Sasuke. I figured Sasuke would do pretty okay, but 56. Not bad. It's Kushida uh, with a step of Enziguri in 2107. And a, wow, 69 main event. Wrong thing went on last there. As, uh, as, as Sushioki pins uh, Kakanuma with the assault point. Kenta with a 77. 74 for Ishimori. 70 for Go. As uh, Sujora with a 65, as was as Sushioki. Uh, Uncle June with a 56, 50, oh, 59 for Kakanuma, completely missed him. Or no, uh, 59 for Kanemaru, rather, completely missed him. And then 55 for Kakanuma, 54 for Yoshiro Takayama. 
There's a lot of aging guys. Uh, but none of selling to... Yeah, I mean, at least it's a tour show, so it doesn't really matter. But probably should add Lefter 7 be the main event. What a good little... I mean, good main and co-main. The rest was kind of okay. But that's, I mean, kind of the point of a tour show. We're not trying to shock the world or anything. Uh, but yeah, I mean, first show down. I'm assuming we space this out so we can stop the recording. As uh, we'll catch you guys for day two. Alright, day two. As uh, we'll have to... Oh, we can go to the Chubu. Perfect. Yeah, it's actually probably the best. The Chubu venue. As, uh, I don't know why I went to the pre-booking page. It's for uh, this show. I think we're going to do... That uh, six man of doing Okada, Goto, and uh, Kaisuke Ishii against Katsuhiko Nakajima, Kento Miyahara, and uh, yeah, I guess Keno. That's kind of <laughs> best bet there. Pretty good match, though. I'm not sure how we'll do as far as a main event. We might make it the co main for now. But there's a lot of talented guys. We're going to have Okada beat Keno. It's kind of like his. Uh, I mean, it's kind of crazy. This is the first thing he's doing as far as for uh, Pro Wrestling Noah. His pop, weirdly enough, it's kind of like he's established as the leader, but his pop is the worst out of everybody in the stable but Kaisuke Ishii, which is just kind of funny. But obviously, a 25-year-old Kazuchika Okada with these young guys in uh, Kento Miyahara and Katsuhiko Nakajima and even Keno. Obviously, Keno's, you know, 28, which is crazy that he's like, because Goto's probably the oldest out of everybody. Because Kaisuke Ishii's in uh, 28 as well. A lot of talented fucking guys, though. And that one there's Money and Mayhem get their first win. It's, um... It's tough. You know, because really the main event... We could either go... Just, an, you know, a, a, an idea. We could do Mar Fuji with Uncle June. Against uh, Muscle Bombers of uh, Takeshi or of uh, Takeshi Marshima and Yuji Hino, which uh, will give twenty, and uh, well, I'm Marshima beat Uncle June. Nice. And then we'll have uh, Walter and Kenta Kobashi. <laughs> what a match! If. Uh, that's an awesome Fire Pro match, is what that is. Cause they would just beat the fuck out of each other. It's gonna be Prime Walter and Prime Kim Kobashi. It'd be amazing. Probably shouldn't go that long, now that I'm thinking about it. We, we should probably have it be like the Steal the Show match. But this is awesome, though. Hell yeah. So, we'll have Tawei be the agent for it. And uh, I think as far as on the, another undercard match we can do, kind of have a brave uh, Suzuki Goon six man that we like doing. Have a Aoki Suzuki, and uh, we'll do Ishimori against uh, the team. Oh, that's right. Um, we kind of can't do that right now because uh, he's still hurt. Never mind. Uh, but we can do. It'd be a little different, even though he's a brave guy. We'll have uh, Ricky Marvin, Super Crazy, and Ozawa. We'll see how Broken Fingers uh, Katori Suzuki can do. So we'll keep it 12 minutes. So a little bit on the smaller side. As um, Now that I'm thinking about it, we could just do... Because I think O'Hara can still wrestle with a broken foot. We'll just do Future Shock instead. As a Kotoge and Aizuke Arata. A lot of injured people in this one. Hopefully nobody else joins that. As uh, we're going to have Suzuki beat uh, Kotoge. Uh, we'll have a junior tag match. I think it would probably be the best bet here. 
against the, you know, they're going to take on Takashita and Noah, Noah that match. I think it may be Sasuke and, uh, and Yoshitone. So we, I mean, we've done this a handful of times now. Just did it in July. We've done it in April, too. It's not the worst thing in the world. So I'll have Sasuke get the win there. There we go. And we'll add another one of um, having Koji Ramado again. I'm trying to think what Junior could benefit from getting a win. Ah, oh, super crazy, looks like. With his cooled momentum. I'm not sure exactly if I want this to be the opener or the second match on the card. I think we'll keep it at the opener, and uh, we'll run the show here. Yeah, 38. <laughs> Super crazy with a 45. That's not good. Um, what's going on here? Because usually it does pretty well, obviously with the chemistry boost most of the time, but... Uh, oh, there's a noticeable botch, too. Oh, that's just not good. Not good at all. Uh, 51, though, for the next match is... Um, somehow, this does really well. Kind of suck at Takashita almost outperformed Yoshitone. That's crazy. As uh, Sasuke with the Thunder Fire Power Bomb. Good stuff. Good thing that was the second match on the card. And then the third match, which gets a 64, even with two injuries. As uh, Taiji Shimori, Katora Suzuki, and Atsushi Oki of Brave just destroy Future Shock. I believe Katoge is in the 50s now. And Harada's borderline 60s. Just Hajime Ohara with his injuries. Just kill him every time. 55, though, for Kid the Kobashi and Walter. Should have been before the sixth man. That's okay. Still a pretty good match, though. 73 for Marfuji and Jun Akiyama against Morishima and Yuji Hino with Muscle Bombers. It's kind of close. Uh, obviously, Yuji Hino, though, just destroying Jun Akiyama as he gets the win as uh, Morishima pins Jun Akiyama to the Maze Impact in 1937. And the 70 main event. The Akaisuke Ishii just didn't have enough juice in that one, but still, uh, Okada, at least he's the best guy as far as performance-wise, even though he doesn't have the pop. But Okada, with the bridging German suplex, I, assuming he still has, uh, yeah, I'm assuming his moveset's still fucked. He doesn't have, like, the Rainmaker or anything, so we'll have to change that. But, uh, 69, though. At least it got a little bit better, but, um, still not great. Still not great at all. And so, yeah, we'll have to change Okada's uh, move set a little bit then we'll be back you know we'll, we'll probably do uh, as far as money mayhem and diamond ring probably do a tag of that either doing okada with either goto or ishii or doing ishii and goto even though they have terrible chemistry against um diamond ring of um kento miyahara and katsuka nakajima looks like uh tenda won the g1 over billy kid kid well that sucks i how is that the opener <laughs> <laughs> what in the world? As Liger and Nagamore gets an 85. Is Tanashi hurt? I don't even see him. It's Ishii was uh, over Masada Yoshino. What in the world? Tanashi must be hurt or something. It's gonna irk me. I'm gonna have to look and see what he's what he's doing. But there he is. I don't know why it was going to him. No, he's, I guess because he's the champ they didn't book him? Weird. So we'll uh, go on to day three now. All right, day three. As we'll see if we're st uh, still not good to go in Kanto. Saka's good and Kyushu's good at least. Let's see if we can get a two thousand. There we go. Perfect. Ah, uh, for this show, you know, I think we do want to do that tag match as far as uh. Okada with either Ishii or Goto. I think we're going to go with Ishii against uh, the team of Diamond Ring of Nakajima and Miyahara. Which should be pretty fucking good. And do we have them uh, roll over Diamond Ring here? I don't think so. I think we're going to have Nakajima beat Ishii. I just feel like that's for the best. They win their first night, but the second night Diamond Ring, get him. Uh, as for the kind of rest of the card, 
you know, I think it's kind of weird that this is going to be the co-main, which is this is going to be the main event program of Sujora and Gobo. I think we're going to have a six-man, and it's going to be Sujora, Kenta, and uh, Ishimori. Or not Ishimori. Uh, Yoshiniba Kanemaru against uh, the brave team of Go, Kobashi, and uh, Taiji Shimori. Pretty good match. Actually, it's a really good match. Um, keep it 20. As uh, so we're going to have Sujora beat uh, Taiji. Uh, yeah, he's going to beat Kobashi. Let's kind of keep on building up Sujora. I did forget. <laughs> I love how I was like, I'm going to change his moveset. I actually forgot. And, um, yeah, we're going to get rid of that belly to belly. Uh, and we'll get rid of that. I'm assuming the Rainmaker won't be in here. But uh, maybe it'll be under... Nope, not under that. And not under that either. Um, Rainmaker <laughs> is... Uh, yeah, I think we'll just keep it as as two words. I think as far as I think he actually does have it be under one word, but for some reason, off the top of my head, I'm thinking it's two, which is just kind of weird. So I am gonna just <laughs> I just want to confirm this really more than anything. So I feel like you know we might as well make it right, you know, at, at the same time. Let's see here, because, yep, it is one word. Good thing I checked. So, yeah, Rainmaker, get that on anybody. And, uh, we'll go ahead and, uh, add, uh, you know, I guess the German suplex as far as the, uh, think of the bridging German. Or at least we could do maybe Heavy Rain to Tombstone for sure. Let's see if they... We'll probably have to make the Twisting Tombstone. Yeah. Yeah, because I'm assuming they don't have... Uh, they don't even have probably the Deep and Dead either. Yeah, we'll, we'll probably have to do a lot of these. Uh, it would be my guess here. The Red Ink. Two, so... We'll do that next. Red Ink. Submission... Nice. And, uh... Yeah, the... I mean, that stupid-ass money clip. I don't want... Yeah. <laughs> Funny that that's there. Must be a different money clip than I'm... Oh, it's probably uh, Easy Money's money clip. I bet that's what that is. So, yeah, we'll just go ahead and, and skip that. Uh, we are gonna add that bridging... He, they, he does sometimes do the dragon into that Rainmaker, though. But so, he kind of rarely does that, though. We'll go with just the Bridging German as a secondary. And uh, we'll do Heavy Rain as well as a secondary. And then that's... I'm trying to think what else we can do. As, uh, I guess we'll have the maximum weight difference being two on that. Heavy Rain. And uh, I'm trying to think what else we could add. I don't think the Deep and Death's... Really, I guess the Twisting Tombstones, probably. Tombstone. Um, next difference, I guess we'll keep that to Yeping God's Blood. Um, I guess, yeah, I mean, that can be done onto a chair. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm not sure why I want to have that be either a, a sub finish, a secondary finish, or have that be the uber finish. Not really sure. I think secondary is probably the best on that one. Alright. Now we got that out of the way. Nice. As, uh... Oh, I don't know why I hit that. Yeah, we'll still have that be the main. And that be the co-main. As for the, uh, kind of rest of the card. I think that six-man... This is gonna be a crazy card. I kind of want to do also either something with Red Dragon and Kings of Wrestling. Uh, so, and the young, and the, the Junior Kings of Wrestling. So, either do Daisuke and 
Hero or Daisuke Claudio. E either way, I think we're actually going to do Claudio and Yuji Kobayashi. It's a, it's a little different. Part of me wants to do an eight-man the next show. Have it be uh, Strong Big Japan with a Red Dragon against... And I, I just realized I have this on the opposite sides. Which is hilarious. Glad I noticed that. Here we go. Now we're all squared away. And so we'll have Claudio be uh, Yuji Kobayashi, though. Yeah, that's the dangerous thing about booking matches like this. And it's like, well, then who's going to fucking lose? Especially on a card like this, where you know, I'd have a pretty good card. Uh, there's a good chance that's going to outperform the main, for sure. Uh, let's see. Let's do a tag of Goto and Kaisuke Ishii against, uh, let's see, what, uh, I guess we'll have to do Keno and Okita, which is not great, as, uh, we're gonna have, probably gonna have Kaisuke Ishii win this one. He's gonna beat Okita. The uh, one downfall of uh, Diamond Ring, Kaisuke, Okita, as we'll have that beast steal the show, I guess, because we need something there. And back to the Young Lions, to get them involved. Again, this time we'll do singles matches of Takashita, and, uh, let's see, let's see if we should, I don't know if we should do Kotoge again, I think so. Someone that we've been really trying to get better, might as well have him beat some Young Lions. Even though he just had a Young Lion match as far as a Momonosushin tag match against these guys. So, kind of makes sense there. And then for uh, Koji Wamato. And what, uh... You know, Kendo Cashman's always a safe bet <laughs> to try to get him back. Which is weird, because we only done it once. It was back in January. Got a 48. Hopefully should do a little bit better this time around. It's probably going to be the second match on the card. So I got a feeling that we'll do... Oh, wow, Kendo Cashin. This be a 10. All right. Let's run day three here. Not 42. <laughs> they don't click. Not great there. Poor start to the show. At least it somehow got into the 40s. So uh, Kotoge wins with the maximum. Yep. Somehow this got worse, though, as uh, <laughs> Kendo Cashin with the uh, Kuji Katame and 10-20. Uh, just barely outperforms Goji Wamato. Not great there. A 60 for Kaisuke Ishii and Oroki Goto. Over Akeno and Takashi, uh, Takashi Okita as uh, Kaisuke Ishii with a uh, nail kick and 12.56. Pretty good stuff. Pretty good stuff. 63. So, oh, Claudio breaks his collarbone. That is tough. Wow. It's Claudio Castagnoli. Can you just go be with the Ricola bomb? Damn, that's tough. Well, uh, you know, they were spoilers. <laughs> they were going to lose anyways, but that's a tough way to go about that instead of having an actual match. Now, uh, we'll have to vacate them. That sucks. This is Kashi Sujora pins Kendo Kobashi at the Modified Olympic Slam. Go with a 73, so it was Ishimori. Get the best guy in the match with a 79. 64 for Sujor, 62 for Kenamori, and then 58 for Kenta Kobashi. It's a 74 main event. Holy shit, Tomorishi with an 82 as he uh, takes the bridge in German suplex from Katsuhiko Nakajima, 26-23. Tough loss for Tomorishi and for Money and uh, Mayhem, but all in all, I think this was the right decision to keep Diamond Ring strong, at least for this tour. I'm not sure as far as going forward how well it's going to do, but that sucks, though, that we're going to lose Claudio. Tough break there. As far as what's going to happen for, regarding the Strong Big Japan match now, I don't know if we're either going to make Shujushikawa, Hanma, and Laughter 7 make it like a, a elimination match for the belts now to add up to that. I'm not really sure, because he's definitely going to be out. Like, uh, only 13 days. Never mind. Here I was thinking that that broken collarbone was going to be a lot more, but uh, cause it's I think it's not even 
We might have to push it back, but we definitely will if we need to. Because I want to say it's, um, let's see here. Yeah, because it's a week away. And what's it, uh, 13 days? That's what it is. I hit the wrong thing. Yeah, it's 13 days. So, I mean, we could push it back. So, yeah, we'll do that. And, um, hell yeah, that match is still on. So I gave away what, how that match is going to finish. But I thought for sure with a broken collarbone, that man would not be able to work. Uh, but he's going to. Thank God. <laughs> As uh, after uh, The Undertaker retired, he's now the booker of NXT. So I just thought that was pretty cool. Like they, As far as a all-timeline thing, it's pretty fun to have him retire in 2013 <laughs> to uh, not only be the head booker of NXT, though, as he passes on tips on microphone work to Go Shizaki, Kinda Kobashi, Sakuraba passing on tips on selling to Kanasuke Takashita, and he does always does psychology for Tetsuya Endo. Hell yeah. As, uh, man, really, this card, it's, uh, it's getting tougher and tougher to book them because I, I've just felt like we've done kind of all that we can, really. But I, I guess we still can do, like, a brave match of Marfuji, Kobashi, and Uncle June against Muscle Bombers. Uh, everybody of Muscle Bombers. Morishima, Yujihino, and, and Walter. Maybe Jamar Fuji, Kitokobashi, and Jun Akiyama. Uncle Jun? Is that, oh yeah, I forgot Kobashi strained his wrist. As I think that happened... Cause I, I don't think that happened for us. I think it was on another show that happened on... That's wild. But I think so. I think he's booked elsewhere. Oh no, it's just us. Oh yeah, that must have happened. I didn't even realize it. What an idiot. As Uncle Jun... We'll be getting the win. He's going to beat Walter. I mean, that's pretty good stuff. Oh, I forgot to use the road agents. That way's our guy. Not the greatest main events, so we'll probably try to think of something better. There is this... Well, I'll say we can't do that now. Uh, well, I was going to do Kings of Wrestling with Strong Mid Japan, but... Uh, with the Junior, but of course we can't do that now. Um... Yeah, I mean, there is just not a whole lot we could do now going forward. We're pretty limited, but we can do this as far as having uh, Young Lion matches. And we also have Minoru Tanaka now, which is awesome. Uh, I am going to add Tanaka to that, so it's just not Minoru. But, uh, yeah, I'm not exactly sure what I'm doing with him, but uh, that's another signing. I'm like, he's awesome. He is 40, but uh, adds to the junior division. Can't have enough of those guys. As, uh, there's, there's a lot of people that just, like, if they're not doing nothing, I just haven't signed. Not great. As, uh, Bobby Lashley and Johnny the Bull. Why not? Fuck it. Have we done this? We haven't done this before. We'll have Johnny the Bull get the win. I hate doing that, but, uh, he's kind of over. I feel like he's gonna do better, too, which is a, a crying shame, but, uh, what can you do? What can you do? And so, uh, let's do a six man of uh, Laughter Seven, all the Laughter Seven guys, the junior guys: Kushida, Taguchi, Kendo Cashin. Against, uh, I'm trying to think what would be a good six, because I'm like Suzuki good, but again, I think Tai Chi's. Oh no, he's back. Okay, perfect. So yeah, now he's back. We can do this. And Kakaduma. Noise. Well, this is set for Steal the Shell. And, um, I'll have Kakanuma be Kendo Kashin. Because it's Kendo fucking Kashin. It's so funny that, you know, obviously he still wrestles in 2021 and just in this mod, 2013, it's like, oh yeah, he's done. <laughs> he, he's the shits, but, uh, it's just the way she goes. Uh, let's do a junior tag match of the Young Lions, Takashita Endo. Yeah, we can do Harada and Ohara. Not a terrible idea. I was about to say, we've done it once. That was back at the first navigation. Do it again here. I'll have Ohara get the win, since he does pretty well. With uh, teaming with Daisuke Arata. And uh, we'll add another one of Koji Yamato against uh, somebody. Not sure yet. Keno's not a bad idea. This be a good match today. I'm not sure about 2013, how it's going to go. 
because I'm sure Young Lion, uh, Coach Yamans was going to get a shit rock for a good bit of the match, but oh no, not a bad idea. We really need something better <laughs> for either the main or the co-main or this shit's going to suck. We got to think of something. Um, really, as far as, uh, what we could do. Um, we could do... We'll have Great Sasuke with Yoshitone. With Daisuke. Against Chris Hero and the Juniors Kings of Wrestling. As uh, we'll have uh, Zack beat Yoshitone. Not the greatest of cards, but I'm afraid someone's going to get hurt. <laughs> like, it just... Uh, that's a lot, a lot to risk, uh, especially with the big show like this. We don't want to fuck it up. We already pushed it back. I don't want to push it back even more. Forgot to change the venue, but that's okay. As uh, Keno with a high right head kick in uh, 950, 55 though for Keno. Hell yeah, got a 35 though. That match that great. As uh, this match gets a 49. As Hajime Ohara pins Tetsuya Endo in 1029. Thanks Garado with a 57. Hajime Ohara with a 43. 41 for Kanosuke Takashita and 34 for Tetsuya Endo there. 50 for Giant the Bull and Bobby Lash. The idiot out performing. Dude, it's the one to forget about it. 50. Oh my. Oh my. As uh, Laughter 7 and Suzuki Goon. As uh, Laughter uh, Laughter 7 takes the uh, fall there. As Kakanuma taps out Kendo Cash in. In 1227. As uh, Shiro, the best guy in the match. 72. 63 is for Taguchi and Tai Chi. 55 for Kenamaru. Oh, he was really off his game. Is he got outperformed by Kakanuma, too, as uh, 40 for Kendo Cash, and that was just the shit. 74, though. This should have been the main. Should have been it, as uh, there's no way that match is going to top it, as uh, Sasuke with uh, Daisuke Sakamoto and uh, Yoshitone lose to the Kings of Wrestling of Zack Sabre Jr. with the Sabre Driver on uh, Yoshitone. 81 for Chris Hero, 74 for King David, who's off his game. That's pretty awesome. He did the same as Daisuke. 69 for Zack Sabre Jr., 56 for the Great Sasuke, and then 49 for Yoshitone. 71. Not bad. It just, you know, wasn't going to reach that level of that match. But uh, Uncle June, though, with the win as he beats uh, Walter there. Say, he, he with a 49. Not great for Walter, but everybody else did pretty well. 79 for Mara Fuji, 76 for Morishima. Yuji Hino, no chemistry boost or anything like that. It's just flat out of 70. That's so awesome. Yuji Hino being the fucking man. So cool. It's a 69 rating. Nice. As, uh, hopefully, again, nobody gets fucking hurt. We might even cut a day, to be honest. Uh, I'm just terrified. Because I feel like we've built up everything we can. It, it does help the roster. So that's why I don't like cutting days. But at the same time, it's like, Jesus Christ. You know, that's the uh, that'd be our worst case scenario. Let's see what hard just Hardcore Justice did. AJ and... Oh my god. <laughs> how did Hulk Hogan... How did 59-year-old Hulk Hogan... Have a 87 in-ring performance? This is why you do not play this much. <laughs> Don't do it. It's a mistake. I, ju I just can't. Brock beats Sting. How does this match... I mean, Sting at least... I mean, it's 2022. He's still ticking. Yeah, like, he's still going strong. Fucking Hogan hasn't had a great performance in ring in decades at this point. This unreal angle in the abyss. Who's the sharpshooters? Brian Kendrick and Austin Aries. Huh. That's... <laughs> Talk about a problematic-ass tag team. Uh, Pope is the X Division champ. Eating Saban and Mark Haskins. It's kind of cool. They're booking Haskins. 55. The Pope is doing an 82. That's wild. Oh, boy. There's a, a Joshi's beaten. Or, yeah, I mean, Ashley Lane. As a Yui Matsu. I mean, she's... I always thought was kind of... Um, ah, she's got all the belts right now. Cause it's crazy, cause like uh, obviously this time she's definitely like past her, her prime, really. This is wild. I guess I mean she was everywhere. All Japan, all Japan women's, uh, you know, ice ribbon, all over the place. 
very much a, a veteran at this point to have her uh, be the women's knockout or having been the knockouts champion and the knockouts tag champs. Pretty interesting. Uh, I mean, that's that did better than that, which that makes sense. Days of Tracy Brooks would probably be a Tracy Brooks having a 71 year in performance, though. I was expecting Daisy Hayes to be the better of the two. As it is past Daisy's prime, though. Beth Phoenix and Winters, the opener? What in the world? What an interesting little card that is. Jillian Hall. <laughs> Jerry Lynn's in the pre show, too. Fucking TNA. I can, I'm always. I have to stop and watch every card, or look at every card. And what's WD? Oh, they're trying to sign Liaki. I'm sure he'll do something. <laughs> Sure, I'll do big things for that promotion. It's on to day five we go. Alright, another backstage instant, as always. And Sakuraba. Oh my god, Sakuraba just keeps on taking off the guys under his wing. As he's now taking a Kazuchika Okada as his uh, protege. Oh my god. That's wild. This keeps on happening. Keeps on happening. Yeah, we're gonna... I guess we'll run Osaka. I guess. Probably should, no, probably should save Osaka for, you know, the final show, if we need to run out the final show, but hoping the anniversary tour can happen. And uh, I'm assuming we're not going to find one that has, like, 2,000. Oh, no, then, we did. Just had to be persistent. We got it. Now, let's see here. Ah, boy. Boy, oh, boy. Uh, there's just... We've just kind of done it all already. So at this point, we'll kind of be adding on to new matches. We won't do the sixth man that we kind of talked about doing as far as having... Um, we'll, we'll keep Okada out of it, though, this time. We'll just do Ishii, Goto, and um, Kaisuke Ishii. Against Diamond Ring, Miyahara, Nakajima, and Kano. Yeah, so we're going to have Goto beat uh, Miyahara. I feel like that's for the best there. Yeah, that's a pretty solid main event. Maybe if we get something better, though, obviously. We'll look to add that. As, uh... Boy, after seven. I think we're going to have... It's going to be a little different. But we're gonna, we're gonna use uh, Sakuraba and Shibata with Kushida against uh, the Strong Pills of Violence, of Ishikawa and Hanma. But we're also gonna use another heavyweight. We're gonna actually use Masato Tanaka, which Tanaka's not great, but he's uh, he is there to get a win. As Ishikawa is gonna beat Sakuraba here, it's a big time win. We'll bump it ahead as the main. I got faith in it. As far as the undercard stuff, it's book Keith Walker and something. <laughs> Keith Walker and uh, yeah, him and Takeo Amori. Sorry, that Keith Walker's got chronic shoulder pain. Maybe, maybe now we'll just have Masad No Way and Takeo Amori. Forget um. From what I remember, Amori was kind of shit. No, he's at 55. Never mind. Never mind. I guess that was at the final show. Well, I'm sure he could outperform Masada, no way. I got faith. Whoa, giving him way too much fucking time. Just now realized that it was 18 minutes. Bump that down to 10. Here we go. Let's see who Iwamata's gonna lose to next. And we'll actually do... We'll give him a night off. We'll have Endo and Takashita have singles matches. We'll have Tanasaki and Endo. And then we'll have... Uh, I'm not sure who kind of Suka Takashita's going to face now. I was thinking Ricky Marvin. Just thinking. I've never done the singles match. So. I think Ricky Marvin can carry him to a good enough match. Here we go. It's 
Takashita and Marvin. Yeah, well, I guess we'll put it there. Putting a lot of faith in that. The match that's going to steal the show, though, the junior tag of uh, Nozawa and Super Crazy. Let's see what I was thinking. What other junior team? I guess it's going to have to be Katoge and Harada. So we're going to have Super Crazy beat uh, Katoge there. Just hope nobody gets hurt. But at least, luckily, for the bottom, really, four matches, they're not on the card. So if somebody gets hurt, it's not the biggest of deals. Let's run the show here. Yeah, 52. Yeah, the KO Mori gets the one in 10-29. Should really be booking him more. The 54 for Tanasaki and Tetsuya Endo. As uh, the Casanovas, Tetsuyendo with a 31. Not the greatest. As a 58 for Ricky Marvin over Kanasuka Takashita with the Santa Maria. Does the same thing there. 65 for Momonosu Shintag against Nozawa and Super Crazy. Pretty good stuff. You know, really, with the chemistry boost is what boosted up Nozawa and Super Crazy to where they could outperform them. But good stuff, though, for Momonosu Shintag. 76, holy shit. Uh, for this one... Didn't think it was going to be this good, as uh, Goto taps out Kento Miyahara in 2018. Ishii was the best guy of the match. Then Goto in 69 and 67, so Nakajima Miyahara. Kaisuke Ishii actually, actually, actually outperformed Keno, uh, which is interesting. I'm not sure why Keno did so bad with the 49. Yeah, just holding back an inconsistency. It's an 80 for the main event here, as uh, Strong Pills of Violence beat Laughter 7. Shuji Shikai with the uh, Wine Splash Mountain on Sakuraba in uh, 2003. Shibata was an 83. Best guy in the match, followed by Hanma. Then Sakuraba and Kushida. Shuji Shikai and the Masada Tanaka rounding up the group with a 53. 78, yeah, not bad at all. Not bad at all. As, uh, well, I mean, that's going to be a tough one to, to beat as far as the best show of the tour here before the actual final show. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we're not really doing a whole lot as far as... Um, Focusing on Brave and Suzuki Goon, which is probably a mistake. We should probably be doing that a little bit more often, but at the same time, we you know don't want to overdo it. Yeah, no surprise or no one, <laughs> Liaki is staying. So, yeah, yeah, Kobashi. That's saying though, isn't tough enough for this business. Oh my! Oh, these Katoge's getting some praise. Kaisuke Ishii's getting some praise. Oh wow, Nozawa getting shit on by Katsuhiro Shibata. Interesting there. As yeah, on to day six. All right, the final tour show. We did it. <laughs> Made it this far. Let's end it off on a good note here. Passing on tips on psychology. Does Project Kanasuka Takashita. And psychology did that in Indo as well. It's just kind of crazy. It's seen how far we've uh, we went from a 68, 850 people sold out to 74 with 1,300. And hopefully... It'll probably be around the same rating, to be honest, but the attendance will be higher, at least. At least. Yeah, probably do. That's probably our best bet here. Yeah, we'll just run this city gymnasium. Again, I don't know why I keep on hitting pre-booking. <laughs> I keep on jumping the gun. As I, you know, since it's the last show, we might as well do a Brave and a Suzuki Goon matchup. I think we're going to do the 8-man this time around. Let's see, Sujiora. And, uh... And, uh, let's see, Takashi Sujiora, Kenta, Bobby Takayama. And, uh, and Kakanuma, I guess. As, uh, then go Kenta Bashi with, uh, boy, uh, I guess it's gotta have to be Jun Akiyama, and then the junior can be Taiji Shimori. Keep it 20. Bob, go get the win. He can beat Takanuma. Yeah, 
let's see here. Uh, we got a 10 man, or we got a 2v2 rather. <laughs> oh, I was thinking 10 man, but uh, I'm thinking having two junior tag matches consisting of the people that are on the number one contendership match for the GC Junior Tag Team title. So I'll have like uh, Live Strong Die Hard against um, Aoki Suzuki as the first match, and then the second one being Kushida and Gucci against Suzuki Goon. I think that'd be pretty good. So they've had one tag match against each other before, and Aoki Suzuki won. This time, though, we'll give it to Livestrong Die Hard. As I will have Roddy pinned uh, Aoki. <laughs> Aoki is pretty unhappy about that one. That makes sense. We'll keep him strong, though, since it's just a toy shell. And we'll do the same thing. Kinta. As I not get to Jesus Kushida and the Gucci against Suzuki Goon of Kanemara and Suzuki, and they had a match. They were supposed to have a match during the obviously Global Junior Tag League, but of course uh, Taichi got hurt. As uh, Kushida will be getting the win over Yoshinibu Kanemara. Pretty good match, though. Definitely the better of the two. That's why it's getting 20. Pretty good top three matches. It's for the bottom three here. I think we're just going to have... Stu Okada with uh, Kaisuke Ishii against Nakajima and Kano. And while Diamond Ring get the win. We'll have the B-Set for Steal the Show as well have Nakajima beat... Kaisuke Ishii. And for the undercard stuff. I'm probably not going to have another tag match. Probably do a couple of singles. As I'm trying to think. You know, really, Pac. You know, we still should use him before we're, we're done. With him. Um, as far as who he can lose to. I guess we'll see if Sasuke can beat him. Hopefully Pac takes the fall there. Nope. God damn it. Uh, I guess Taisuke Arata is probably a good idea. Uh, I don't think he's going to lose to him either, though. Because uh, Taisuke Arata's got worse pop than uh, Sasuke. Yep. Son of a bitch. I guess we'll just have Nozawa beat him. Uh, hopefully Nozawa can win. <laughs> Jesus. As, uh... There we go. Finally. Really good match, though. Funny enough. I kind of want to put up up there, but we'll keep it there. For now, and then a uh, junior tag match of the Young Lions. Let's see. We've kind of done Momonosushi and Tag a good bit now. I think the next best thing is... Uh, I guess we could do Ricky Marvin Super Crazy. Both guys could kind of use a win. So, um, we'll give it to Ricky Marvin. Don't care. Takes the fall there. Oops, a little build. Should take that off. Probably should have went all out on most of these matches, but that's okay. Just can't help myself. So we're on the show. 53 for the opener. As uh, Takashita and Endo fall short to Super Crazy and Ricky Marvin at 9.47. As Ricky Marvin pins Tetsuya Endo with the Santa Maria. 69 for Pac and Nozawa. As uh, Nozawa with the Nozawa driver. Even though he definitely got outperformed by Pac. 72 for Okada and Kaisuke Ishii against uh, Katsuhiko Nakajima and Keno. Close, but... Slight edge to Diamond Ring, who get the win as Katsuhiko Nakajima pins Kaisuke Ishii with the British German Suplex. 65 for the first of the two junior tag matches of uh, Roger Strong and uh, Eddie Edwards of Livestrong Die Hard beating Aoki and Suzuki as uh, Roger Strong with the sick kick into the Die Hard driver. Wrong team won, but still a fun match. And a better match. And that's why you don't do that as uh, Kushida and Taguchi 
get the win. Taguchi breaks his ribs. And uh, Kushida is going to get the win. The Kushida lock in 1934. Hopefully, <laughs> we can push it back to where it makes sense. But I got a feeling we won't be able to. That's Kushida the 74, though. Good stuff there. Thank God nobody got hurt here in the main. And the 72 is Goshizaki pins Kakanuma with the limit break. Kenta with the 79. 75 for Go. 71 for Taiji Shimori. 64 for Takashi Tsujiwara, 60 for Kenta Kobashi, 56 for Kakanuma, and 53 for Yoshiro Takayama. 71 there for the overall show rating. So yeah, well, yeah. Sucks about Taguchi's broken ribs. Hopefully, he's healthy by then. If not, it's going to have to be Kushida and Kendo cash in, which will hurt that match tremendously. But, uh, you know, what can you do? That's what happens. Yeah, I mean, it's going to probably be a couple of weeks. He's working through it, though. <laughs> what a trooper. As, uh, thank God we can run this anniversary show. We got everything pre-booked, so we'll just, once we get to the, the show date, we can run the show. All right, the anniversary show. Looks like it's set for Shinju Stadium. Which makes sense. <laughs> uh, that's where the last one was. Pac was brought for versus court, accused to not joining the rest of the locker room out. On a night out, as the the judge Kazushi Sakuraba found him guilty and sentenced by drinks for him after the show. Small positive impact for Pac there. So last year was an 82. First year was a 69, which I got a feeling will be better than that, but it's just kind of crazy. You know, Kenta Marufuji and uh, Mohamed Yan and Takeshi Morishima against the Kings of Wrestling. It's kind of funny that, you know, basically all this is kind of still the same guys on top. Key, of course, is gone. Time splitters, of course, Alex Shelley's gone, but Red Dragon now going in as the champions is pretty cool to see. Suji's in the main after leaving for a bit, and passed them all day upon it, but I wish would have worked. Kato Shiga's gone, Kensuke's gone. It's kind of crazy. He and then going from that to Shibata beating Kenta uh, in a successful defense, Kings Wrestling Muscle Bombers. What's happened? A lot has happened over these two years. As, of course, the main event. Sujiora. Go Shizaki. I thought about it. And I'm going to switch it. It's not going to be Sujiora getting the win. It's going to be Go. Go's going to keep the belt. We're going to keep on rolling. Gonna keep on rolling. As far as they've had one match together in this mod. Uh, back at Dramatica Fantasia in November of 2011. As far as a one-on-one -on -one match. Never had a one-on-one -on -one match in Crossing Noah, which is pretty crazy. As uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes. But Goshizaki will be getting the win, retaining his belt, keeping the reign alive. I thought about though, because I was like, the idea was like, well, Sujora comes in, gets a big win over Goshizaki, but also this helps elevate him the way Go got elevated when he got the belt. But it's just like, ah, oh, we've already elevated one guy. Let's kind of keep the train rolling with Go for a little bit. Then the tag team title matchup, which we kind of spoiled already in Strong Big Japan, Kings of Wrestling. The reign's over. It only lasted uh, 103, 103 days. One successful defense. I mean, a long reign, but as far as what they're used to, they used to have a lot more defenses. But, I mean, I guess a good chunk of change for a reign. As, uh, coming up short against Strong Big Japan, which is their first reign. And I think it's well-deserved, too. They're fucking awesome. This hero's going to be upset, though. Didn't see that one coming. We'll keep him strong, though. Just out of respect. And then the uh, GHC and World Openweight title match. Naimichi Marufuji to get you Morishima. Marufuji will be beating Morishima. But that should be a really good match, though. That's going to go 29 minutes. Then the junior tag match. And uh, King Devitt is going to beat Bobby Fish. Red Dragon. I mean, interesting run. You know, they had the belt for 103 days as well. It's kind of funny. Uh, but they're going to have three defenses. So they have the same amount of defenses as Apollo 55. It's pretty cool. Uh, but they're going to fall short here. And now Zach's going to be two belts. Two belts, Zach. That happens a lot. It's kind of a downfall of me. Uh, booking is kind of... A lot of times there's guys with just two belts at the same time. Which is not great. Uh, but uh, I just feel like it's the right decision there. As far as now, I kind of forget the rest of the card is structured. Oh, that's right. Suzuki Goon Brave is next. Which, Junakiyama is going to get the win for Brave, beating Kakanuma there. Trying to get Junakiyama a big win. 
I was doing this the road agent. That'll be Talway. And then uh, Sh Strong Pills of Violence gets Laughter 7. As uh, Laughter 7 will be beating the Strong Pills of Violence, which, of course, we saw Ishikawa pin Sakuraba earlier on the tour. So it's nice to get Laughter 7 a win. And then Money and Mayhem against Diamond Ring. As Ishii's going to pin Kento Miyahara. I, we should probably give that to Okada, to be honest. He could use a win. Because this should go kind of for Christ's sakes. As uh, he's going to get the win for Money and Mayhem. And in the opener, Suzuki Goon are going to advance to be the uh, number one contenders after uh, they're going to pin uh, Tsushioki. As Yoshinibu Kanemaru is going to pin him. As uh, Laughter 7 and Lift Strong Die Hard will not be involved in the finish. But pretty good match, though. I think definitely to open up the show. As, uh, let's see. Oh, Shini Shuichi Shikani is uh, being used too much. Perfect. I didn't fix it. I'm assuming he's also in one of these final matches. Yep. Uh, wow. Still being overbooked. He must also be in the co-main as well. There we go. As far as uh, the pre-show match, I'm kind of curious to see where if we can run this elsewhere. 53,000. There will be a lot of people, though, in Jinju Stadium, that's for sure. It will be a solid. I wish it was um, somewhere else, though, at the same time, but I think we should keep it in Jinju. I think that's just for the best. Let's see if we can do a tag match here. kind of want to see Takeo Mori and Taue team. Kind of cool. Uh, they'll take on um, the Muscle Bombers, though, of uh, Walter and Yuji Hino, which, you know, is going to get the win there. As uh, We're going to give that to Walter, though. He's going to beat Ta uh, Takeo Amori. Which, Amori is probably going to outperform him. I don't know. The, with, with the chemistry boost, they should be okay. In the next match, um, we'll make it a six-man. Probably a junior match. It's probably pretty much who's all left. Do uh, Harada. With uh, Hara and Katoge. And uh, we'll have them take on the Young Lions, I guess. Evil Yamato and then Takashita and Nindo. Katoge doesn't matter who takes the fall. There we go. Good stuff. Nope. Wrong ref. <laughs> Nakayama. There we go. All right, so end the show. 55 for the uh, first pre-show match. Iwamada and Takashita were off their games, but Harada with a 60. Good stuff. Katoge with uh, the maximum. And he gets a 53. Takashita, he's getting... He's off his game, and he's still on 42. Nice to see. A 67 for uh, Yuji Hino and Walter. Yuji Hino with an 89. That's fucking insane. As uh, he gets the win in 955 with the double fucking bomb on Takeo Amori. Or Walter bends him. Which Walter does outperform thanks to chemistry boost. So at least that makes sense. 72 for the opener. Taguchi's injury takes a big toll. But he still did out. He still would have outperformed Kendo Cash. And it was a little too short for the, in the eyes of the audience. But it got the strong start. Got the crowd buzzing though. 72 opener. We'll take that as Kushida's best guy in the match. He's not involved in the finish though. As that's uh, Kenamar and Tai Chi. Getting the win and beating the better team of Aoki and Suzuki. So 75 for Money and Mayhem against Diamond Ring. As Okada pins Kento Miyahara with the Rainmaker in 2027. Zan Nakajima with 85. Best guy in the match. But Goto and Okada with 80. 77 for Ishii. So Money and Mayhem obviously pretty awesome. Uh, yeah, the Bruce Pectoral. That, that sucks, but he's, he should be okay though. At least until the next tour. And yeah, just everybody was really good, but Keno. Poor Keno. Still got a 59. Holy shit. And 88 here as Shibata taps out Shuji Shikawa with the Octopus Hold and 2101. Yeah, I mean, everybody was really good. Wrong team won. Should have not been Laughter 7. Should have been the Strong Bells of Violence. But again, our tag division's crazy. Two teams with no chemistry boost doing 88. Yeah, I mean, this definitely, it's going to be tough to top that tag match as Junakiyama taps out Kakanuma in 2003. Ishimori, best guy in the match, actually outperformed Kenta. That's not good. Kenta should definitely be doing better than that. 
Uh, Kenta Kobashi was the third best guy in the match, then Kagenuma, then Dakiyama and Jun Akiyama, who was off his game. Not great. Not great. Let me get a 79 for the junior tag match. Everybody did really well, but Bobby Fish there as King Devitt and Zack Sabre Jr. are your new junior tag champs, the junior kings of wrestling. Get the win as King Devitt with Bloody Sunday in 2248. as 85 for Devitt. Really good stuff there. 81. Damn. Not enough selling. As uh, Mara Fuji makes his first defense with the Shirin Yu. Or number, second defense. I was about to say he beat... Uh, was that Hero? It's, yeah, that, that was Hero. Oh, I was blanking there, but yeah. Um, yeah, I'm not sure why that got an 81. So it was like bonus for the road agent. Crowd was hot. Just lack of selling really dropped that down. That far. That's crazy. Another 81. We're getting fucked <laughs> by this not enough selling thing. Wow. As uh, Strong Big Japan, though, and new GHC Tag Team Champions as uh, the Moonsault Press. Yeah, that's a close one. That's, that's a very, very close one. Just a point difference. Uh, but I, I still think Strong Big Japan, they deserve the win. Curious what else is going on. Lack of selling just from fucking Daisuke Sakamoto's the one guy. 80 main event as Go Shizaki makes his third defense of the GT Everweight title. Definitely the right guy wins there. 81 for Go, 71 for Suchiora, 28 20. I just can't believe that, man. We were destined for some 88s, 90s. Oh, this should have been way higher than 81. Same thing for this. Man, crazy. That was the best thing on the card. But, uh, I mean, that's what that's what happens sometimes. You know, we just kind of get something crazy out of nowhere like that. We're going to give some love to Sakuraba. Trying to pass it around here is Okada. Um, and then probably... I'll probably go through his eye, to be honest, to keep that train rolling. Probably for the best. I mean, a, a bit of a letdown. I, I can't believe it. But that's just uh, that's the way this mod is. You know, a lot of guys are getting knocked for not enough selling. It's kind of nothing you can really do about it. <laughs> just going to have to wait until they somehow get better at selling that's kind of all you can do uh, but i hope you all enjoyed the episode as we'll catch you guys next time for the shiny navigation tour take care everyone